Hello everyone, we are on topic 9 and 10, Exit and Turnaround Strategies. These topics focus on how a successful entrepreneur harvests or exit their venture and also how an entrepreneur deals with financial trouble by taking turnaround strategies. As usual, before we resume this topic further, let's have some flashback on what have been learned so far in previous chapters. Right, you have learned uh, the different types of financial sources, right? Um, as the uh, venture progressing from the early stage to survival stage and finally to rapid growth stage. And then you also have learned how to prepare financial statements, right? You have learned how to record your resources, including the assets and liabilities, and how to monitor the financial performance by looking at the uh, revenues, right? And uh, calculating um, the uh, uh, the cash flow by 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 using the um, um, financial ratio okay and then uh, you also have um, understand you, you have already understood um, how types different types of organizational ownership and different types of intellectual property that you that an entrepreneur will um, apply in the business in your venture may has impact on, on the financial decision okay and I also have explained to you um, the strategic planning for your business, for your venture, including the long-term and short-term financial plan, right? How to prepare um, uh, forecasted sales, how to prepare um, forecasted um, or, uh, resources, okay? You have learned that. And finally, um, in previous topic, right, you have also um, should be able to understand uh, the cost of financial capital, so how entrepreneur um, uh, bear the cost for their financial capital, either they uh, decided on uh, to have a debt financing or equity financing. So both financing may have uh, impact right, on the cost for financial capital. Alright, now as a venture enter the maturity to growth stage, Right, it may face the likelihood of success or decline. Right, some uh, ventures might um, success in their business, while some venture due to some um, problems they might face uh, financial distress or declining in their business. So, for successful venture, it is time to value the venture and enjoy the rewards through harvesting or exit strategy. Okay, if it's a the the venture is a successful venture, so they can enjoy the uh, the profit by rewarding themselves of the investors, then this is we call it as a harvest harvesting or exit strategy. But for trouble uh, venture or declining venture, so it is appropriate for the venture to restructure or reorganize the venture through restructuring, reinventing or turnaround strategy. We call this turnaround strategy. So that's why our topic today is harvesting or turnaround strategy. So harvesting is for successful venture, turnaround strategy is for trouble venture. Okay, um, if you could revisit the venture life cycle stage, right, to see how business ventures uh, progress through their uh, life cycle stage, okay, you will see here at the uh, stage 4 or post maturity, maturity to growth stage, right, a uh, venture might have uh, three different uh, um, situation, right, some might um, uh, improve, right? Improve well, right? In uh, in terms of uh, their sales or revenue, uh, some might steady, right? Stagnant, and some venture might declining. So for decline, decline venture or trouble venture, they will uh, employ the turnaround strategies. Whereas for the those are successful venture, they might employ the harvest or exit strategy. So this is the picture. Uh, if you want to uh, look um, to to understand further, right? Uh, what is turnaround and harvest strategy? Okay, so first let's look at what is exit strategy. Okay, as I mentioned you to you just now, right? Uh, exit, also known as harvest strategy, right, um, is uh, appropriate for a successful venture. So um, the meaning of harvesting is process of selling ownership in a variety uh, privately held business venture to realize the appreciated value of the founders and venture investors' contribution. So once uh, if the company make a profit, alright, uh, successful in the business, so why not um, they can enjoy the profit, alright, uh, through selling ownership, right, to who to the founders or investors. So there are three methods of harvesting. The first one is systematic liquidation. The second one is outright sale or gifting. The third one is going public. 
So for systematic li- uh, liquidation, this occurs when the venture is liquidated by systematically distributing the venture's assets to the owners. For example, by giving dividends or uh, selling the assets of the business to uh, members, to the founders or the investors. Okay, so that is we call it as a systematic liquidation. So this technique or methods is appropriate when industry is declining or to cease the operation. Okay, although it's uh, in the successful, but if uh, it's look like um, uh, if there is no, um, if the venture is not taking the liquidation uh, method, um, the business will decline. All right, or you want to cease the operation, you want to stop it, then you can use this uh, method, systematic liquidation. Okay. For outright sale or gifting, okay, this occurs when an entrepreneur sells the venture to family members, or managers, or employees, or outside buyers. Okay, you want to sell the venture uh, to the family members, uh, right? Because you have too many business um, going uh, uh, good uh, <coughs> in the performance, so you want to sell it and get some money. So this, there are two basic ways for outright sale. The, the first one is transfer a business as a gift to heirs. Alright, uh, sebagai hadiah kepada pewaris or selling the venture to them. You sell the venture to them to get a, uh, <coughs> some uh, some uh, money, right? Uh, to, to to improve your business. The third one is going public. So here is a um, uh, publicly uh, you offer your uh, uh, shares to the public. So we call it as a IPO or initial public offering. Okay. And you, you can sell uh, new or used shares, right? This is uh, securities, uh, securities saham. Okay. Employ an investment bank as the intermediary to assist the creation, sale, and distribution of financial assets. So these are normally done by the entrepreneur and investors, uh, right? They will in- employ an investment bank uh, as an intermediary to uh, decide, right, um, how ma- how much um, shares or securities that they need to uh, invest. Okay. Okay, now let's look at what is turnaround strategies. As I mentioned to you just now, turnaround strategies is appropriate for the uh, trouble venture. Okay, so let's look what are the uh, methods for the turnaround strategies. Okay, um, for trouble venture, right? Normally they will uh, face financial distress. Right? Financial distress here means when cash flow is insufficient to meet current debt obligations. So the company not able to pay for the debt anymore. So due to the financial distress, right? Normally a trouble venture uh, will lead to a balance sheet insolvency. So they cannot uh, pay the debt and cash flow insolvency. They run out of cash. Right, and normally this uh, trouble venture is due to poor internal management. Right, for example, like having poor finance and accounting practices and control. So they um, not really good in um, recording or monitoring their financial performance. Right, uh, other factors for financial distress are like uh, economic factors. Right, for example, inadequate sales, insufficient profits, or financial factors. For example, like excessive debt, too many debts, insufficient financial capital. Okay. So uh, this uh, for for trouble venture, there's a road to recovery. Okay, ah, uh, ada pemulihan dia. So this uh, road to recovery, we call it as a turn around opportunity lah, turn around strategy. So there are three types of common, uh, com- three common types of turn around strategy. The first one is operations restructuring. The second one is asset restructuring, and the third one is financial restructuring. Uh, restructuring. Okay, let's look one by one. Okay, the first method for turnaround strategies is operation structuring. Okay. Operation structuring involves growing revenues or cutting costs. Right? A financially dis- uh, distressed venture needs to improve its operating cash flow to allow it to meet its debt obligations. So this may require replacing a part of the management team or hiring the new professional managers to handle the day-to-day operations. On, and as well, uh, may also involve restructuring a venture's board of directors. So you change the entrepreneur, change the members of the uh, board of directors. So this uh, we call it as a operations restructuring. Okay, for asset restructuring, uh, it involves improving the working capital to sales relationship. So that means an entrepreneur they control the account receivables and inventories. Account receivable here means the money that's still with the uh, customers, right? Uh, still not in uh, the cons- where the money that um, the entrepreneurs not not receiving yet. So uh, by improving the working capital to sales and relationship, or by selling off fixed assets, right? You sell the plant, uh, property or equipment. So um, this can improve the uh, financial distress of the venture. So this is what we call is as an asset restructuring. 
the third method is financial restructuring right uh, this um, method involves changing the contractual terms of the existing debt obligation either through debt payment extension or through debt composition change right uh, so um, entrepreneur especially for um, if they cannot pay the uh, debt obligations right they cannot pay the the capital of debt or the interest of debt so they can use this financial restructuring for example the first one is debt payment extension this involves uh, postponing right postponing the due dates for interest and principal payments on loans and cash payments on credit purchases right uh, for example um, in the case of loan for example so interest payments can be lowered or suspended okay you can uh, the bank you can ask the bank to lower down the interest payment or to suspend right um, and or loan due dates right lengthen so you lengthen the loan uh, due dates until the venture cash flow is okay right so that is a debt payment extension for the second one debt composition change occurs when creditors reduce their contractual claims against the venture so that means the venture asks for um, from the creditors to reduce right the interest rate Right, uh, so these reductions can take the form of a lower interest rate or lower debt claim, the principal amount. Right. So, for example, that uh, a lender might lower the interest rate on a loan from ten percent to seven percent. So, this might reduce the um, financial distress of a venture. So, we call this as a financial restructuring. Okay. So, um, that's all for the topic. So, I hope you um able to understand um how um successful entrepreneur or trouble entrepreneur trouble venture um, improve their performance right through harvest strategy and uh, turnaround strategy so for the tutorial activity you can uh, go to forum uh, at smart d3 right the um, and solve these um, questions in a group okay let's say your business is at the maturity stage of a venture life cycle and your business is doing well in sales revenues and profit so you are a successful venture now right and um, can you plan a harvest or exit strategy that you think can prepare your business to sustain in the growth stage to sustain in the future to avoid your business from being a decline in the future so um, just um, discuss with your group member and uh, post the answers in the forum smart d3 okay that's all thank you